Business Problems. I'm Brooke Borup, your host, and today we have Steve Sapato, the most famous, infamous speaker in America, and he is going to be talking about your question, why are my advertisements failing? Steve, I'm sure you have an amazing answer for this. Hey, I like how you think. <laughs> okay, so most people have ads out there and, and they just don't perfect them. First of all, the question goes back to who's your target audience? When you say my ads are failing, do you have your target audience? I bet you I've watched 20 different gurus, 20 different software things uh, say, hey, we can help you with your ad. So I always take a peek at them. I always want to be learning and growing. Maybe somebody knows a little bit more. Maybe they can help me help you a little bit more. And that's what it's all about. So when you say, why are your ads failing? My first question is, who are you targeting? Are you targeting the right people? Are you targeting the right age group? Are you targeting the right interests? Are you targeting the right locale? Everything happens around here. But even if you're on the right market, if your ad is boring, guess what? People aren't going to pay attention. Have you gone through, let's see, if we go on Instagram, how long do you watch an Instagram video? If you happen to click on that top row and you watch your Instagram videos, how long do you look at that video before you go, that's it, I'm done with that. And you swipe them off and you're rid of them, right? So the key is that you have to be interesting. So you have to tell a story. So way back when I worked at IBM, and we sold things based upon a feature, a function, a benefit, and then your offer. We should still be selling that way today. In case you don't get it, we have to find out what they need. So I have to find out the feature is what do they need? So if somebody says, I need your product. So if I want to be a better speaker, right? If they want to make greater faces, right? If they want to be a better artist, what are they wanting that you can help them fix? that will be your feature. So finding out what they need. So you're presuming when you get into this that you have the right audience and you know what their greatest problems are. If you have that targeted correctly, then moving on from there is the next step. So there's the feature, which is what we offer to help you. And then the next step is the function. This is how we do it. This is how we can help you do it. And this is what it solves. So there's the benefit. So when we get into this, it's what's the problem? How do we deal with your, how have you dealt with your problem up to now? How I might have worked in that same problem area, how I know somebody who's worked in that same problem area. Then I have to figure out what I'm going to be able to do to help you overcome those problems. That's when I feature the function, the benefit. And when we've got those all together, then we come up with the right call to action. If you don't, I'm just talking to Brooke. Um, I put out some ads for my upcoming speaker event in March, and I said in the beginning I wasn't getting as many results, and I was trying to figure out why, 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 and then when I looked back, because sometimes we just put it out saying, I know what I'm doing. When you look back, you check your ads, you send it to somebody like Brooke to check your ads, and you say, oh, wow, my call to action was really lame, and that's what you have to figure out. How do I push you to the call of action without pushing you over the edge and chasing you away? Those are all things that are involved in how you put together an ad that's going to get some results. Now, you also have to figure out, um, Facebook does a good job of asking, what do you want to accomplish with your ad? Do you just want more traffic to your website? Do you want to sell the product? Do you want more awareness of your product? So if you're starting, like me, I'm starting with an event that was going to be five months down the road. I don't really need sales right now. I need more awareness of it. When we talk about speaker talks, that's my event down the road. Speaker Talks, I'm promoting out, and it's a long-term process to compete with TEDx, right? The TED Talks things, the TEDx event. So I give speakers a stage and all that other stuff. I won't get into it right now, but it was a long-term. I want people to be aware of Speaker Talks, right? And I wasn't necessarily selling an event in the beginning. And that's what you have to be aware of. What is your purpose in the advertising? What do you want to accomplish? Again, all these things have to fall into place. So do you have a purpose? What is that purpose? Do you have the right audience? Is it the right audience? How do you know it's the right audience? Have you done split testing of your ad? You know, with this headline, with that headline, with this video, with that video, oh my gosh, there's so much involved in just getting your ad to work. And so be aware that you need all these things in line. And that's what we're here talking about is to help you promote yourself, your business, your company, so that it accomplishes what you want to accomplish. But you have to know all these things in advance. So 
Put a nice little list up on your wall. This is what I want to accomplish. This is who I want to connect. This is how I plan to do it. Here's their problem that I can solve. Here's what we've all been through together. Here's how I solve it. And now, in order for you to solve yours, you have to work with me or whoever you're promoting at that point in time. Does that help, Brooke? You think that's good? I think that's perfect. So many people come to me and they're like, Facebook ads don't work. And you know, other ads don't work and LinkedIn ads don't work. And I said, the problem isn't that they don't work because if they didn't work, then no one would be successful with them. What really doesn't work is not knowing what you're doing or what you're selling or who you're selling to. And I easily would say 75 or 80% of small business owners are gonna be the ones watching this and they don't know their target market, right? I mean, that's oh, yeah. a huge thing. I teach on that all the time. They just don't know. So as long as you have all those pieces in place, then guess what? You can have successful ads anywhere on the web or in person or at networking or in the newspaper. I mean, anywhere you want to go, as long as you know who your target is, what the message is that they need to hear, and you're in the time that they need to hear it, those are the things that make successful ads. So thank you so much, Steve, for being here for this episode of Google My Business Problems. You can catch us next week. And if you're looking for Steve's information, it'll be on the next slide in the blog post, in the post that you're seeing this on, or in the YouTube description. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching, and we'll see you next week.